Futures Radio Show, sponsored by CME Group, the world's leading and most diverse futures and options exchange. CME Group's markets help individuals and businesses around the world effectively manage risk. For access to free educational tools and resources for the active individual trader, please visit activetrader.cmegroup.com. Every day, traders and investors dive in to tackle the ever-changing markets to find opportunity. Futures Radio Show is your number one source for answers to the questions that all market participants want to ask. Veteran futures trader Anthony Crudelli sits down with the most influential leaders and top traders in the industry. Now, here's your host, Anthony Crudelli. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in for this episode with Mark Lamb. Remember, new shows are posted on Mondays and Thursdays. You can subscribe to the show on iTunes and YouTube. If you're enjoying the show, please leave a review on iTunes. Before I play today's interview for you, I want to give a shout out to the great sponsors of Futures Radio Show. See Me Group, Trading Technologies, FTSE Russell, RJO Futures, and Top Step Trader. To learn more about these sponsors and the important things they are doing for futures traders, be sure to click on their logos on Futures Radio Show. Com. Today, I spoke with the founder and CEO of CoinFlex, Mark Lamb. We kicked off today's show by discussing his company, CoinFlex, how and why he got started in crypto, the growth of Bitcoin futures, Tether, FlexCoin, and last but not least, an upcoming trading contest he's hosting on TT. So without further ado, let me take you right to the interview with Mark. Talk to us a little bit about what you've got going on with CoinFlex. Yeah, so CoinFlex is the first physically delivered futures exchange, which is really important for anyone in the crypto space doing hedging, lending, and borrowing, and a lot of the things that make futures you know, relevant to the, com the commercial world. And we, we came out of CoinFloor, which is an exchange I started six, seven years ago, and in response to a need we saw in the space, especially with miners and, and, and some of the different trading firms in the space for you know, what we've created. And we're trying to be a balance between Eastern and Western. So we have a big focus on Asia and also a balance between retail traders and professional traders or institutional traders. So we're trying to be the exchange that really works for the global crypto markets in that sense. Where are you located? Uh, so we're we're incorporated and jurisdictionally based in Seychelles, um, and we have offices around the world, but uh, one of them is in Hong Kong. I've been following you since I've been following crypto, uh, so several years now, and you've been on the show before and always impressed with you. You're always a forward thinker. For those that maybe didn't catch that episode with you and I, tell everybody how you got involved in crypto. Yeah, so I... I got into crypto back in 2012 in, in, in London when the market was you know, less than $100 million and there wasn't really a lot of exchanges out there. And basically, I saw up close and personal because I, was, you know, I, I knew some of the founders of these exchanges, uh, I saw multiple exchanges go down for the dumbest of reasons. And so I really saw a need to build out a market and I was trading OTC just you know, personally um, and, and facilitating block trades and peer to peer trades, which were all, you know, relatively small as the market was small back then, but the, it was very easy to become a large percentage of the UK volume. And I decided, well, this really needs to get on a, on a lit screens so that you can have the kind of high churn, high volume trading that obviously is, is conducive to a really healthy, vibrant market. And so I created CoinFloor, which became the, the leading uh, GBP BTC trading exchange and UK exchange. Um, and then, you know, just as I got more involved in the global crypto markets, saw, you know, a really big need for, for futures trading because that's, you know, 20, 30, 50 times bigger than spot in traditional markets. And in, in crypto back then, it was kind of a third of the size of spot volumes. And even today, it's maybe one to two times the size of spot. So there's huge room for futures to grow um, 10 or, or 20 times more than where they are today. Let's talk a little bit about the growth of Bitcoin since futures started. What are you seeing? 
How how big has it gotten? So, I mean, futures are anywhere from 10 to 30 billion dollars a day and basically it's it's where the heart of trading is. So, if, you know, Hong Kong has a lot of pe- a lot of hedge funds and traders and and speculators and it's it's in 2017 the market was all about altcoins and now it's all about derivatives. So, people are looking at complex options trades or you know, futures trades going going long spot, buying spot and selling futures, all these different types of strategies. And I think the beautiful thing about futures and derivatives is you can there's a much more rich and vibrant surface area of trades to make. So you can do something that isn't just I'm bullish Bitcoin, I'm gonna buy it. You can short, you can go long a spread, you can trade a spread. So that that creates a lot of new opportunities for people. And it also creates opportunities for people that aren't even in the trading world. Like we see a lot of miners in China uh, that that actually want to be long Bitcoin and they want to borrow borrow dollars to finance their mining operations. Um, so they'll they'll buy futures and and sell spot, or they'll go through lenders who are sourcing those 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 loans by buying futures and selling spot. And and this is actually kind of counterintuitive because um, you would naturally think, well, miners would want to be basically flat delta and not not have any exposure to the thing that they're producing. But actually, miners in crypto are really doing this because they they love crypto and they they want to they, they see this as a way to acquire lots of crypto. And so in these in these types of places, they're they're usually borrowing dollars or borrowing tether in our case. Uh, and that's another thing I've seen as well, which is the growth of stable coins and stable coins being used in derivatives. So CoinFlex is the first crypto futures exchange that uses Tether as one of the legs of the settlement. So longs deliver Tether and, and receive Bitcoin and shorts do the opposite. And so that's another thing that's been incredible to see in the space growing is the use of these stable coins. Yeah, that, that is really interesting. A question I have for you is do you think that Bitcoin has almost become more of a trading product versus what it was originally intended for as a cryptocurrency? Yes, I think Bitcoin right now is a uh, is is becoming and and probably will continue to become a very financialized asset and trading product. Um, there's not a lot of use for it and and usage of it as a as a currency right now. There, there are some others that are working on the currency dynamic, but Bitcoin is, is much more. I mean, there are proponents that talk about it as a settlement layer, uh, but really mostly it's a it's a liquidity asset. It's it, it's very, very liquid. These derivatives are part of it becoming more and more liquid. And most of most of what it is, is 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 basically an asset. And it and especially a big asset when you when you look at things like the trade war, Um so uncertainty around some of these macro events drives a lot of the moves in uh, in BTC pricing these days. You mentioned Tether. For those that are listening that don't know what it is, can you explain it to everybody? Yeah, so Tether is like simultaneously one of the most boring things in crypto and one of the most interesting things in crypto because it's basically a cryptocurrency on top of the Bitcoin blockchain and the Ethereum blockchain that just represents one dollar. So it's you can think of it as some of the benefits of crypto, but without the volatility. So you can transport it anywhere in the world, depending on the network, with relatively cheap costs and, and instantly, even on weekends. But it is it is effectively very similar to one dollar. Now it is not one dollar. It is a it is a redeemable instrument. And and it's also spawned a whole class of these things called stablecoins. So, so Tether is one of the many stablecoins that exist. And basically, it exists as part of the, the trading infrastructure of, of crypto. So there's not really that many things you can do with Tether other than buying Bitcoin and selling Bitcoin. Um, so you can sell Bitcoin and hold Tether instead of holding dollars. And one of the reasons you might hold Tether is because uh, you're a trader in Japan or you're a trader in Singapore 
and you may not have as good access to the U.S. dollar banking system as a trader in America. Uh, so someone in the U.S. might never use Tether, but someone in another, someone in China might use Tether all the time because it's a way to hold U.S. dollars when trading against BTC without without having to set up a bank account, which you may not even be able to do in some countries. Uh, well, mo most people in most people in the world can't set up a bank account in the U.S. So it's it's a it's a very very useful instrument for the trading the trading space. Um, it's now even started to become accepted in uh, in like settling of bills and invoices. But but really for the most part, it's it's a trading instrument in the crypto space. Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying the show so far. But I want to pause and thank one of our sponsors, Trading Technologies. I started using TT in the year 2000, and I love it. It is by far the best trading platform I have ever used, and I've tried a lot of them. With TT, you can trade the global markets from virtually anywhere in the world. They are the world's fastest commercially available futures trading platform. I highly suggest you go try out TT, especially because you can try it for free. Just go to tryttnow.com and set up your account. I want to talk about something that you mentioned to me, which I'm really excited about, is you're going to be hosting a trading contest on TT. Talk to us about that. Yeah, so trading technologies are obviously one of our, our big shareholders and founding partners in, in this CoinFlex venture. And we're going to be hosting a competition which actually utilizes one of their order types called a bracket order. Um, and this competition will be basically a way for people who don't know how to use TT to learn about it. Um, and for people who don't know how to use bracket orders, uh, we'll probably also host this, a similar thing on a new interface we're launching as well, but using the same bracket order functionality. Um, for people who don't know how to use bracket orders and no, don't know how to use TT to learn about, about these tools. And basically, uh, it's, it's, it's a competition around high volume kind of scalping so tight tight scalping of of bitcoin futures um so the the goal is not to make you know unlike most trading competitions where the goal is to make as much pnl as possible the goal is actually to make to do as much volume relative to your account size as possible so it'll be what it what volume did you do over a four-day period uh and how much did you deposit and there'll be a minimum deposit amount um and you're just going to try to do as much volume as possible relative to that deposit. And you can keep depositing, but obviously, if you just blow out and deposit again, then the the numerator of that divisor, you know, goes up. So so it it makes it harder to get a high score. So you're trying to be profitable or at least scratching, um, and just doing as much volume as possible. And the the thing that's interesting about this is most trading competitions really focus on pure PNL measure just on account equity. And this really incentivizes people to take on just a YOLO um, kind of bet where it's as much leverage as possible and you're betting on maybe on something obscure or an options contract or a, an altcoin that moves a lot. Um, and maybe you set up five accounts to do this or you get five friends and they, they all do this on different things. And maybe you get lucky, but there's really no demonstration of skill in there. Um, so we kind of thought, well, we wanted to do something one that was just different and stands out, and two, it's way more engaging as well. You know, rather than doing one trade, sitting on it, maybe you get lucky, maybe you don't. Why not keep people engaged, get them on the screens for hours and hours and hours, learning how things work and and trying it out and scalping uh, low volatility moves or or high volatility moves. But obviously, the guys who are accepting less edge are going to do do better in terms of absolute volumes and volume multiples. So that's basically how this trading competition works. And yeah, the, you know, we're, re we're really excited about this. I think we're going to be offering some pretty big prizes. Um, and there's going to be a real-time leaderboard as well. So it's, it's going to be awesome. Let's talk some details. When does it begin? Where can people go to sign up? Uh, is there a fee to sign up? Talk to us about all of that. So we don't have a start date yet. It's 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 going to be in the, it's going to be relatively soon, so in the next few weeks. But if you want to learn more details, uh, sign up to a CoinFlex account. You'll get an email when when it's about to begin, uh, or go on our Telegram uh, at t.me/coinflex_en, 
and 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 you'll you'll find out all about it one once it begins and it costs absolutely nothing to sign up so you can just you can just sign up some deposits in bitcoin and and you're off to the races and uh yeah you'll have a chance to win some some pretty awesome prizes big cash prizes basically not everybody listening to this has a tt license do they have to have a tt license or will they be able to utilize tt for the contest no, that's the cool thing. So you don't have to have a TT license at all. Um, you can just create a CoinFlex account, and you know TT are a shareholder and partner of ours. So we, there's a white label version of TT that anyone with a CoinFlex account can access uh, for for absolutely free. So um, you don't need a, an account to do the contest, and it's 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 going to be awesome. We think people, uh, especially in this audience, are going to love it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Last question before I let you go. I was going through your site and I noticed. One of the first tabs you have is Flex, Flexcoin. Yeah, so Flexcoin is really, really awesome because it's basically an exchange coin that has multiple, multiple components to it. But there's a, the biggest one is you can use 100 Flexcoin, redeem them, and get 50% off of your trading fees. So it's this interesting thing where if you're trading a very high volume, um, you can buy it on the order book for. Uh, right now it's trading in the kind of 40 to 50 cent range. And if you're a high volume trader, you might be able to redeem it for any, you know, for multiple dollars per flex effectively, because you're, you're, you're spending enough fees that, that 50, yeah, 100 per 50% off, you know, gives you a very, very good return. And so you can, you can do this kind of ARB of the flex coin to redemption price. Um, but it also has a component where coin flex will be spending 20% of, of profits uh, until we've spent $500 million to buy and burn Flexcoin. So um, kind of as the exchange does well, uh, there's, there's more and more Flexcoins that are getting bought and, 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 and burned, so effectively destroyed and taken out of the supply. So we've got some exciting plans uh, for Flexcoin. We're also going to be launching some other products around it and, uh, and, and giving it more utility over time as well. And yeah, it's it's a really core part of what we do. The other component of Flexcoin is actually, you know, it's not a, it's not an ICO or something we've sold. It's basically a trade driven mining coin. So you can earn this by trading futures and it doesn't go to makers. It goes to takers. So if you're a taker of liquidity and you're looking to aggress with your orders into the market, you get Flexcoin. Um, which creates a very different market dynamic than exists on other exchanges where they have a maker rebate. We actually have this taker uh, reward in the form of flex coins that uh, causes a lot of taker activity because it become coin flex naturally becomes the cheapest place in the world to take because everyone else has fees and we've got you know relatively flat maker taker fees and this this rebate of flex coins. <laughs> Hey everybody, I want to take a moment to thank one of our sponsors, FTSE Russell. They are a leading global provider of benchmarks, analytics, and data solutions. The Russell 2000 Index is a key benchmark for small cap U.S. stocks. Be sure to check out the E-mini Russell 2000 Index futures, contract symbol RTY. For more information on FTSE Russell and their products, please visit FTSERussell.com. I lied when I said that was going to be my last question. Uh, I want you to summarize what 2019 was for crypto and what you think 2020 will be for crypto. 2019 was the maturation of stable coins and futures and kind of linear derivative contracts. And 2020 will be... 2020 will basically be the year of options and interest rate deriv interest rate products. Um, and obviously, CoinFlex uh, will be very, very interested in launching a product around, around the lending space. So we're very, very excited about that. Where can people find you on social media? And give us a website to check out. Yeah, so twitter.com slash Mark David Lamb. And uh, our, our CoinFlex handle is coinflex.com. And uh, yeah, and the website obviously is, is coinflex.com as well. It's always great speaking with you, Mark. Always fantastic insight. Thank you so much for joining me on Futures Radio Show today. Thank you so much, Anthony. Likewise.
Thank you for listening to Futures Radio Show. If you have any questions or comments for myself or my guests, please visit futuresradioshow.com and sign up to be a premium member for free. If you enjoyed the show, don't forget to leave us a review on iTunes.